the Alpha, this is Bravo, be advised we are about to do some bounding maneuvers, so you will hear some gunfire. Over. Roger that, thank you. Are you guys ready? Ready. All ready. Right. Since our recent restructuring of the Skunk Works Org, Raccoon training has been progressing at a fast pace, keeping our instructors busy. Contact right. Contact right. Contact right. Take cover. Get down. Stuck getting some fire down. Stuck getting some fire down, guys. Espera, let's I take it left. Bravo team oh, moving. So Alpha 1's covering forward, right? And Alpha 2 is covering, like, off to the right a little bit. Alpha 3 is covering right to kind of rear right, and Alpha 4 is covering rear. But raccoons are not the only part of the Skunk Works task force. Even if the ground and EVA combat is my particular focus within the org, ship crew, who we refer to internally as Ravens, must also be trained and prepared to join a task force of the org. And as role qualification was reset, the restructuring, I'd need to qualify for the role again myself. Everybody in the org can qualify for any role they wish, and the entry level course is very basic, aimed at giving enough knowledge to be able to drop into a task force, much like raccoon qualification. The course was to be held by Jay Rainier, Raven instructor and commander of Task Force Delta, the Red Eye Crows, aboard the Skunk Works Morrigan, a Karak in service with Delta. Entry level crew are gunners by default, so I'd be taking position in the starboard turret for this session, and Jay would very soon have us underway with the basics of turret operation. Does everybody see the compass? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. That's going to be one of your best tools for quickly orienting yourself in relation to the ship. Zero 0360 will always be the front of the ship. It's a great tool to try to get yourself oriented and be able to call out targets with more precision than just port above, port below. As for the actual weapon systems, Right now, you basically have two flavors. You have energy and ballistic. For the most part right now, we just use energy. Until Star Citizen gets some form of reloading available, the ammo count is just too low to make ballistics effective in a turret. So we're in a fairly safe spot. All turrets, go ahead and do a test fire. Test fire. All right, so you see how your ammo count starts decreasing and then it starts coming back up again. Ava. So that's your capacitor discharging. X or X-ray, that's going to switch your gyro mode on and off. The gyro mode is meant to ease the targeting and tracking difficulties that arise from ship movement and rotation. If you have the gyro mode on, the turret will always continue to point in the direction you aim as long as it stays within the turret arc. If it's off, the turret's going to move with the ship, and that can be extremely disconcerting and very difficult to track a target. If the ship turns left or right, your turret's going to do the same thing. Bravo. B. That's your staggered fire mode. If you're using laser repeaters, which is what the uh, Morgan is currently equipped with, they're not always that big of a deal. However, if you're using laser cannons where the rate of fire is much slower, staggered mode helps even out your fire rate. Charlie centers the turret. The C button will actually bring your turret back to its home position. If you get really lost the ship's doing a lot of maneuvering, you're moving around a lot, you're trying to find a target, and you're sort of lost as to where you are. If you hold C, it'll bring that turret back to center. Those are the four main keybinds for turrets. Something else we need to talk about briefly is pin targets. Most of the time, a pilot is going to try to pin targets for you. What that means is he's going to select a target and put either a one, two, three, whatever numeral to it to denote it separate from other targets. What this allows you to do is if you push one, two, or three on your keyboard, it will immediately choose that target for you. What we're doing at this stage is a practical exercise to bring this together for you guys. What we're gonna do at this point is actually take the Carrick into a battle and, and let you see the operation of the turrets, let you actually play with these keybinds. 
uh, understand what a pin target looks like and how you interact with it and see how when this ship comes under fire what the different arcs are and and how things get affected by the orientation of the ship all right crew passenger mission equipment check dirty how are we looking uh, looking good all right upper turret looking are you good. lower turret good port turret ready starboard turret good all right so we were to face down the first of two combat scenarios and the first would be a hammerhead fight in the atmosphere of Yela. It had been a long time since I was in the crew of a Karak in combat, so this was a lot of fun, and doing it in the atmosphere, doubly so. There's very little out there that can make a huge dent in us missile-wise right now, um, at least at this stage. Uh, go ahead alert. and fire off uh, countermeasures. Very nice. Port side tracking too. All turrets at the moment concentrate on the ads, which will be the fighters. You are all weapon free. Copy because working. we are in ammo, I can't do a whole lot of maneuvering without uh, it becoming a significant emotional event. <laughs> all right, I'm good again. Splash one. If you look, the Vanguard board is currently pinned to number one. Team. Your effective range in those turrets will be 1.5 to 1.8 as your maximum range. You will be weapons free at 1.8. All turrets should be able to engage at the moment. Stop engaging. Engage. I have to engage. Target destroyed. New contact to the rear. Should be a hammerhead. Targeting is up. Target is is about uh, 60 degrees. Roger, we are reorienting the ship on the hammerhead. Pin one. Or, once again, Stop turrets one. should Stop be in hitting. range now. I will try to keep the nose of the ship so everyone can get an equal chance to engage. Though shield facings uh, may make that a little more interesting. Target destroyed. Outstanding. Just like that. With the first fight complete, we were heading off for our second combat encounter. This time, it would be high above Yela within the rings. Something I'd grown familiar with before, but it had been a long time. Oh. Um, Two targets. Three targets front. Roger. First target is pinned. Confirm pin one. All right. Same formula as before. One and two are going to be our ads. We're going to try to take them out first. And top turret, if you're available, if you could do a little countermeasure action. Thank you. Yeah, it took one right in the right in the port. Stop ah. engaging. Proximity port one. Cool. one. Uh, stop nice shot. Parts. Two, port side. Flash two. One point five will be effective range. I will keep the nose of the Carrick or forward toward the Carrick to give you the greatest possible firing arc uh, for as long Morning. as possible. Stop engaging. Port gauge. Coming up. Also, when uh, stop at range. Roger, coming around the asteroid, so you will briefly lose contact. Stop engaging. Park gauge. All right. Uh, is that lower, no joy? Good angles. Roger. Good work. Target destroyed. Beautiful. Didn't even drop below 21%. 
so I was now Raven qualified within the org, but the qualification only covers the most basic of training, and members are encouraged to attend further training sessions on more in-depth and advanced skills within each role. With something very unique coming up for Skunk Works and our task forces, it has never been a better time to get involved. I see comments often asking how they can join our org, and the link to our Discord in the description is the best place to start. I'd like to thank all of you at home for watching, and I also want to send out a very special thank you to all of our amazing patrons, who you can see on screen right now. Thank you all for your very generous support of the channel. Patrons like you are what make these videos possible, and I am very grateful to all of you for following and supporting what we do. If you are thinking of starting Star Citizen yourself, use the referral code in the description to gain an extra 5,000 credits when signing up for an account. We'll be back with more from Skunkworks.org very soon.